Let's get you on the wildfire watch now and let's talk the bushfire, which continues to grow in the Tonto National Forest. It's now burned more than 184,000 acres, but some good news today. Some of the people evacuated from their homes because of the fire last week. They were able to get back home. Evacuation orders were lifted in Tonto Basin, Pumpkin Center, Pioneer Pass, Deer Creek, Brownsville, Jake's Corner, and Slate Creek. But those families, they've also been told to remain on standby just in case they need to get out again. Fire managers hoping to have the Beeline Highway, that's State Route 87, back open soon. They say this fire is still very active near that highway. But those fire crews, they got a little encouragement today in the form of handmade signs posted along the Beeline between Fort McDowell and Bush Highway. They read, thank you, firefighters, and sending prayers, that kind gesture to raise their spirits as they fight this fire in scorching hot temperatures. All right, let's take you north down to Tucson where we've been keeping an eye way north of Tucson by about 30 miles up in the Catalinas on the Bighorn Fire. Take a look at this fire map. You can see the growth areas on the north, east and south flanks. They admit the containment isn't that great. Over the last 24 to 48 hours, we're trying to protect a lot of assets up there on Mount Lemon. So they really have been doing a lot of burnout actions. Right now, 51,000 acres. It's only 16% contained. Now, Governor Doug Ducey, he's visited those crews today battling these, this fire. And he talked about how together we can help get a handle on both these wildfires as well as the coronavirus. Every wildfire season in Arizona is serious. And this year's no different. Communities across Arizona remain on high alert as several major wildfires continue to burn. What is different this season is the coronavirus pandemic. 2020 has brought heightened wildfire activity as well as the added challenge of keeping crews and responders healthy as we continue to work to contain the spread of COVID-19. Governor Doug Ducey visited crews on the Bighorn Fire, now nearly 60,000 acres and only about 16% contained. While this fire was lightning caused, some of our largest fires, like the Bush Fire, are human caused. We need everyone to do their part. The good news is, as of today, there have been no lives and no structures lost on the Bighorn Fire. We will bring whatever resources we need to the Tucson area to protect the people and the property here. But this fire is going to be put out. And the, the one resource we're going to need in addition to the brave women and men that you see fighting this fire is Mother Nature. Short of a monsoon storm dousing these flames and a vaccine wiping out COVID-19, the governor says prevention is still key. That not only can we avoid wildfires in Arizona, you can avoid the contraction of COVID-19. So please remember to continue to physically distance, wash your hands, wear your masks when you can't physically distance. And if you're sick, please stay home. Well, these fires, of course, constantly growing and evacuation notices are changing rapidly for the latest info. It's easy to download our AC Family News app. You'll get an alert right on your phone. We've got photos, videos, as well as evacuation details, of course, to keep you always updated.